What is going on you guys? I'm Gamer Mike and we are back on Agrarian Skies once again episode number six already. Last time I left you off we got our peach farm, peach sapling set up a little bit. Uh, I have not done anything since we've left 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 off left last left off that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so the saplings have not grown yet, so we're still waiting on that. Man, this is just so big of a tree. Uh, we got our smeltery set up a little bit, a little bit over here, looking all good and stuff. Um, what we need to do now uh, is, let's just take a look at our questing. I believe we actually have to delve into the smeltery. Casting koi call right here? Yeah. So we got to create an ingot cast and a pickaxe head cast, which... Um, I've been looking up some stuff that's actually not too difficult, so what we do is we're going to put the ingots cast down, like, right here, and if we add, oh, I don't want to open my book, if we add lava to, god dang it, to the seared tank, and then we come over to here, we put, like, uh, let's take iron ore dust, then we come over here, we click the seared faucet, and it will smelt it down into the ingot for us, so that will be nice super nice so let's see here we got 22 pieces of cobble so right away I'm going to start to where's my crucible 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 crucible's over in this corner we're going to start turning some of this cobble we'll just fill this all the way up bang 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 into oh wow that's actually pretty full already nice uh, into uh, some lava for us okay so we got that going um another thing I really need to get going here here, it's over here, is we need some more iron, oh no, we have four iron ingots, so what I want to do is create a legitimate, legit bucket, so we can transport this lava without having to keep creating more buckets, oh, we actually have an iron ingot in there as well, um, so yeah, alright, so we got the bucket, we're gonna take this ingot, we have some melons, some different stuff we could actually start growing. Come over here, gonna dump that in there, the flint in there, charcoal. Uh, let's see, so we got two ingots. And what I wanna do while we're, we are waiting for the crucible stuff to start getting up is I want to grab some more uh, cobble, or some more gravel. And I want to uh, sieve all this so hopefully we can get some uh, good stuff, some. Uh, some iron, broken iron ore. So I want to try this smeltery out. We're going to see how, how well this works. So real quick, we need an an ingot cast. Let's, let's see. Let's just type in cast because we also need a pickaxe cast. So pickaxe head cast is... What do we do? Do we just... Oh, okay. So I think we just put like... Um, uh, we made like a stone uh, pickaxe head a while back, so we just throw that straight through the uh, furnace area. And what about an ingot cast? How do we do that? We just take a brick. So clay. Okay, so we can get that going. We actually. Oh god! That was scary. That was really sketch. Okay, so we can. <laughs> we almost fail. That would have been awful. Take one of these. Come over here. We'll place that up above. And now we need to make a pickaxe head. So we'll take three cobble for now. I do not recall. I think we only need one, actually, but be on the safe side. We'll, we'll just create a few. Not a big deal. Not a big, not tool station. We need stencil station. So if we do this, not stencil station. I don't know what I'm doing. Take that. I want that back. Put it over here. We'll eventually figure out. So it can only be used to make casts. I remember a couple episodes ago, I was like, what the heck? What's a cast? And now we know. We now know what, what the cast is used for. So, we have our bucket here. We are going to come over here, nab some lava up, bang. Come over here, and we just deposit it right into the sear tank. We'll see that we have 850 and a 4,000, um, whatever you want to call it, of lava there. So, we are going to throw in the stone pickaxe head. And you can see, I believe that means it's, yeah, okay, so that's going to rise up. Once that's full, we just click that, and it'll create the ingot cast right here for us. Um... Okay, okay, I get it. Alright, so you can have nine blocks. So that's the point of building it up higher. Um, is I was like, what the heck? What Did I place that? I was trying to break it, then I was able to walk through it. <laughs> so I just kind of walked into the middle of the smeltery. So we can only cast like nine things at one time. So that's not a big deal. Um, obviously, we just need to create some more grout. And 
with that. We'll just smelt it into some more seed bricks if we ever want to raise that up. But I don't really see us having to u like utilize the smeltery too much. Um, another cool thing. Oh, we got Adam Sandler, the best, not playing Mountain Blade. Look at that. Um, what we can do with the smeltery as well is we actually will be using it to combine ores. So let's, if we take a look here, um, bronze, for example. Let's just type in bronze. So if we look at a bronze ingot, come over to not a bronze. Let's look at the Tinker's Alloy ingot, maybe. Um, so if we, yeah, okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. So with the uh, induction smelter, which that's what we have, we put three, or yeah, three copper and one tin, and that will create us four Tinker's Alloy ingot which we then can use to uh, make bronze, um, I believe, yeah, 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 we can, then we can use, like, it to make bronze bindings, bronze uh, axe heads, different stuff, so, for example, so that's a 700 speed, I don't even know what mine is, this has speed of, of, I have no idea, so we don't know, <laughs> anyway, so let's just see how this is coming along, is that filled? Yes, yeah, so we just click. Um, shoot. I don't remember. Okay, um. I think it's still going, isn't it? Uh, I thought that's what you did. And then it should drain right here, right? Right? Oh, what? Or maybe. Dang, I don't even know. I thought I had that down. I was like, I was all excited. I was like, man, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing finally, but let's let's try this one more time. Um, I got another another way. I think might be the right way. Maybe if we just shoot. Um, let's take a look at the cast one more time. God, pickaxe head cast. Molten aluminum. Br oh, okay, we need free. Okay, all right, I got you. I got you. So we need uh some uh, aluminum brass to do so. We need to put in blank cast aluminum and copper into the smeltery. Um, let's take a look at our blank cast first. Okay, so molten aluminum brass. So that's what we really need to get going. So um, aluminum brass, molten aluminum brass. So we throw a. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, man. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. So, uh, shoot. Okay, smeltery. So, aluminum and copper is what we need. So, we got to get some aluminum and copper. All right. Aluminum. So, we have three and some kappa. We have plenty of copper. So, we can take the copper. Combine this. And we are actually going to break this all the way down. Alright, so we need to first get the cast going. Man, I figured it was just paper. I, thought, I, don't, I don't know what I was thinking there, alright? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're, we're gonna get this figured out. And there we go. So what we the, what we did there is we got a little bit of extra pulverized copper ore, which we can eventually use to uh, create some more um, copper ores. So, before I... Ah, dang, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so molten aluminum. So I believe I can pick that up with a bucket out of there once we get that going. Molten aluminum brass. Brass ingot. Um <sighs> yeah, yeah. Alright, so we need three aluminum ingots is what it's looking like for that. So yeah. I believe. Okay. Alright. I, I really came into this more prepared than what I thought I, I am now. But now that I think about it, yeah, no. Okay, so we have our brick. Now, I don't remember what I was doing with the brick now. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. What was I doing with the brick? Let's take a look at the cast. Uh, oh, yeah, ingot cast. That's what I was doing. Ingot cast. So with the brick, we just throw that in with some molten aluminum brass here once again. Because we got to get our blank. Oh, my phone keeps going off. Sorry about that. Um, so we got to get a blank cast. Blank cast. Ah! 
Blank cast. All right, so the only way to do that is through the liquid ca uh, table casting. So aluminum brass is, is pretty much all we can do from here. So yeah, all right. So we just got to get the bars then. Sounds good. All right. So we are looking for plenty of aluminum. Aluminium, if you're from the European side of things. Let's see. So we have one copper ingot, which that's all we need. We just need three aluminum bars now. We getting any aluminum at all? My inventory is actually going to fill up pretty quick here. Ooh, what was that? Oh, just amber. Plain old amber. Um, we'll toss some of the stuff. We don't need... I keep getting the stinking smelting book. Uh, silver, tin, lead, copper, crushed, crushed, pulverized. We'll throw all that in there. We'll throw um, that in there as well for now. We'll continue. We need something that will like auto sieve. That would be so helpful. Instead of having to stand here and constantly click this. Just put it in. That way we can do other stuff in the meantime. Um, any luck on aluminum? Man, aluminum is rare stuff, it looks like. So this is going to be quite the grind for some... Because we need a total of, I think, what, 11 more? Because we have... Or no, we need 9 more. Because we have 3 pieces of aluminum already. And maybe we'll get lucky and get a few... Ooh, there we go. We got one broken aluminum from that one. Looks like we got another one there as well. I'm just going to go through all this real quick. Make sure we have some inventory space. Yes, we do still. Right on. So yeah, we'll just see... Oh man, we're getting hungry. Shoot. Um, let's take care of my hunger issues and throw this stuff back. We got some nickel, plenty of iron, some silver, gold, copper, a few pieces. So we now have five of those, which is good. Some more tin. Um, so let's, let's grab some, uh, some food. Do I have any food already? No, we have plenty of carrots, though. We'll just take seven. We'll just get the full real quick. I want to, uh, where is my, right here. There is my juicer. I want to eventually be uh, start delving into the Hell's Kitchen side of things as well. But that will come once we get this stinking smeltery done. God dang it. I was all excited. I was like, yeah, I know what I'm doing with this smeltery. I know. I know. And nothing. I wonder what the heck happened to uh, my my pickaxe head the, my, that I put in there. Huh. The mysteries the mysteries of the world so if we don't get enough aluminum here I'm probably gonna cut the video and sieve some more dirt until we have 12 pieces or not dirt uh, more gravel until we have enough uh, aluminum so let's see uh, of course we don't have enough for that all right so guys I'm gonna cut the video for a minute here I'm gonna be back once I get the required amount of aluminum I'll be right back Alright guys, so we are back once again. Um, I got me the three aluminum ingots right here along with my copper that I still have. And so I, uh, while I was doing that, I kind of looked up what we have to do. And I think I understand. I'm not 100% sure I'm doing this right. Um, but uh, I guess what we do from here is just try. Alright, so we have our three aluminum, our one copper. We have plenty of liquid so what we do so we take our brick throw that down on the casting table I want to say take our ingots throw them all in there like so I'll create like a sweet little, little uh, display up here for us to see so putting the brick on should oh god it's raining oh no that shouldn't oh, I think we're all right um, I really wish, uh, out of the, uh, the, the goodie bags or whatever you want to call them, there's a chance that you can get a rain muffler, which will cancel the rain sound, which would be really, really helpful. Okay, so let's just see here. Just waiting on the copper real quick. So we're going to have to do, repeat the same process, get another, um, three aluminum and another, um, copper, I believe, because we're going to need another cast for the pickaxe head for that so what so we pretty much just do the same Ooh, okay so that's awesome so it turned it into nice liquid oh god okay that's bad don't go into the liquid um so now if we click that oh yeah that that's nice okay so did we do it right in god cast oh yeah we got it we figured it out oh my god and actually 
Is there enough to do the pickaxe? Let's try it. Oh my gosh, we don't have to farm. We don't have to grind out anymore. We got our two casts. We have our ingot cast right there like so. And we got our pickaxe cast. Nice. Alright, it only took me 20 minutes to figure out what I was doing. But we did it. We did it. And actually, for now, I think we can just create some blank casts as well. We'll just throw that for now. I'm not sure what we use a blank cast for, but uh, we still have liquid in there too. Okay, so we can still make some casts. We're going to throw this in here along with these. And I am going to do this because the weather is freaking annoying. Weather clear. Can I not do that? Okay, I just typed it in wrong. Typed it in wrong. Um, so we don't need this head pickaxe head anymore. What we could have done, actually, we could make some, like, uh, a flint pickaxe, uh, or a flint cat, or not flint, an axe head cast and all that as well. And actually, we are getting hungry quick. Dang. Uh, let's juice some more carrots up. Nothing like some carrot juice on this fine afternoon. Take some of these. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. We really need to start delving into some higher quality food, though. I'm getting sick of all this juice. I need some nourishment. Um... Oh yeah, so we completed that quest, so let's get our reward quest book. Um, oh, and we have every single quest unlocked now. We're 40% done with the first one, so we are making some progress. Um, casting call. Cast list, we get a full guard cast. I'm not sure what I'd use that for. Liquid slime bucket, uh, safari net, or a reward bag. Now, I think I want to go with the safari net, because what these will do... Let me see if I can get... Ooh, speaking of automatic, uh, we'll get in that in a second. Um, okay, no, we can actually get Safari Net from this as well. A Safari Net will allow us to uh, spawn a random mob. It could be either good or bad. So I think, I don't know if I, do I want to go? I don't know what, let's see what Liquid Slime Bucket does for us, if it does anything at all. Liquid Slime. Liquid Slime, what do you do? It doesn't say it does anything. Okay, so I think we're just going to go with the plain old reward bag. We'll ch take our chances here. We also have a nice boat of Featherfall 5. So we can pair that with our other worthless boat of Featherfall. You know what? We upgraded. We got a brand new boat. We can, we can just... Okay. We can just throw you right off the ledge. Lay the boat. Because, uh, unless we're doing some, like... I don't know, adventure extreme, we are not going to need feather falling on a boat. We're not even going to need a boat as is at that. Okay, so we got our full guard cast. I'm not what, sure what a full guard is. I think it's for some sort of weapon. Um, full guard. On guard. What do we need? Uh, let's see, I'll have to actually look at the toolbox for that. Um, so let's open our reward bag real quick. Take a look. Particle customized. Customize a jetpack's particles can, can be crafted with a jetpack to apply. All right, we are getting the best rewards we possibly can get. Oh my gosh, these are these are just so good. We have a oh what the heck? Oh, that's just a torch I broke. Particle customizer. When we get a jetpack, man, the uh, the the particles are gonna look so nice once we get there. God, I can't wait. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to throw that in there for now. We have another heart we can kind of make up here. Oh yeah, so uh, got a customized skin. Let's see if you can kind of see it here. I got my my styling Kraken Pros. You can kind of see there. Let's see if I can go into... Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see the, the nice Kraken Pros I'm wearing. Uh, GBM on the shirt. With some nice, nice looking some pants. So, oh yeah. We're, we're looking pretty fresh now. Alright, so we got the cast done. Let's take a look at the guard cast while we are here. Um, tool station. G guard. Guard cast. Guard cast. Do I see anything that looks like a guard cast? I do not. Um, maybe that? Maybe the... Maybe the reaper... Reap, 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 rapier? 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 Um, an easy way to figure that out is just to do this. Do we have any wood left? Do we have... We don't have any wood. Okay, let's chop down this tree. Those peach saplings still aren't grown. What a shame. I, I was really looking forward to the peach smoothie, but it'll have to wait. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Alright, so turn that into that. Come over here. First, we need to turn it into sticks. Man, we have so many carrots. We are living in carrots. Blank pattern. 
throw this on here. Okay, so... That is the hand guard. Okay, so yeah. So, that guard cast right here, full guard. Oh, I don't even know. Because that didn't even show up on any of the options. So, we will have to figure that out at a later time because I do not see it. We'll just leave that blank pattern in there for now. So, our next quest, let's take a look here. Moving Molten. Fluidux uh, from thermal expansion can be used to pull molten metals out of the smeltery and into casting basins or tables. Using a redstone signal, you can toggle the fluid duct on and off. Alternatively, you can attach a servo to the fluid duct and set the fluid duct to ignore redstone signal. In this state, the fluid duct will just keep pouring molten metal from the smeltery drain into the gas. Advanced automation can be done with multiple drains, fluid ducts, basins, and whitelisting different molten metals. Okay, so what this is pretty much saying... Um, right now, you know how I, uh, to make the cast, I had to right click the faucet to get it down. So, it's just pretty much, this quest will just make it automatic. What we can do is we can just fill this, uh, this smeltery up with whatever we need to be smelted. And we can create an automation here, so it'll automatically come out instead of having to sit here, auto-click it and whatnot. But it also opened up this, it's automatic quest. Eventually you may get tired of moving water around in buckets. An aqueous accumulator can produce water very slowly out of thin air. Place the source block on it at least two sides to speed up the water production and then use ducts to move it where it needs to go. A sprinkler from open blocks can be placed on top of an aqueous, aque, aqueous accumulator to hydrate and fertilize farms. As you get tired of sifting by hand, try using auto- what was I just talking about? Try using autonomous activators to do your clicking for you. Place up to three facing the sieve and set them to right click mode. Fill inventory with the blocks you want to sift and then walk away. You'll need a vacuum hopper to automate the collection of the resources obtained from sieving. So don't walk too far away until you have one of those sucking up the ore chunks. Okay, that's awesome. So we can actually get a few going. So we can put an, uh, a clicker here, which will uh, auto-cobble or auto-hammer. I believe if we put like a hammer in the clicker, that'll work. And we can actually uh, get that going. Um, so it will automatically gravel and put it into a chest. We'll just have to move the chest of gravel over to this one, put it in this, and it will auto-sieve and suck up. But guys, we will worry about that next episode. Sorry, I suck so bad at putting the small tree together. I think I'm finally understanding the concept of it, though. So we're good to go on that. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button.